Welcome, Welcome to, to our first YouTube, YouTube video. video! Yay! So let's take these off because they're super itchy. <laughs> so in this first video, we just want to kind of tell you about us and how we met because believe it or not, we have a fun story to tell. I downloaded Tinder. Yes, I did. So basically, um, I think two years ago, mm -hmm. kind of. Over two years? Over two years ago, I downloaded Tinder. Um, I didn't want to download it just because I wanted to find somebody. <laughs> Sorry. Just somebody. <laughs> but uh, I was kind of like bored in, in a game with my cousin, trying to match with really awkward people and weird people. Um, basically, you were trolling people. Basically, we were trolling people. I was not talking with anybody. Um, and that day, I went to leave my parents at the airport. They were visiting my sister in Denver. So, it was just one day that I was basically in, in Mexico City. I downloaded Tinder. We were messing around with each other's Tinders, my cousin and me. And then You were playing with each other's Tinders? Yeah. <laughs> Don't say it like that. <laughs> Um, and then I match with a guy, a very a guy. interesting guy, who happened to say the first thing, like, hi, and then, do you speak English? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yes. Mm. It, it wasn't just that, though, was it? It was more interesting <laughs> than that, not just, hi, do you speak okay, English? Okay, fine, you tell your story. <laughs> So my story is that I was at a part of my life where I just come out of a long-term relationship and I was kind of feeling like I want a sense of adventure. So I was meeting people in London as I'm from the UK. Um, I was living in London at the time. And I'm Mexican, by the way. She's Mexican, if you couldn't tell. Um, what do you mean? <laughs> so I was living in London, kind of at a point where I was thinking, you know what, I don't want anything serious. I just want to find somebody who I can have some fun with. and. I got to a point where I was kind of like on Tinder, just scrolling past, and then I found this random girl, and we met up, and then she said, oh, I'm going back to Mexico City next week, so I was like, oh, that sucks, because I kind of liked her. And wait a I was minute, like, wait a minute. Am I the random girl? No, you're not the random girl. Okay, this okay, is okay. This other keep girl going, is the going. random girl. I was like, I'm random? Leading, I'm leading up to you okay, okay, in the best way possible. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> So, I met with this random girl, she was like, I'm going to Mexico City next week. Um, and I was like, oh, that sucks. And I was like, you know what, I'm not doing anything next week, I'm coming with you. So I was like, why not? Why not go to Mexico City? I've never been to Mexico before in my life, I didn't speak a word of Spanish. So I was kind of thriving on the thought of adventure. And at my age, you know, why wouldn't you have a big adventure? So I basically stayed with her for a week in Mexico City, got to see all the sights and everything else. Basically used her as a little bit of a tour guide, but while still being into her. And then at the end, it just didn't pan out. We just kind of had our differences and whatever else, and it just didn't work out. I went back to London feeling a bit downtrodden and like depressed, like, oh, this is a beautiful city, amazing culture, and I want to go back there. So two weeks later, I went back to Mexico City. But before then, what I did was I downloaded Tinder, got the gold subscription because I'm a total ball and <laughs> I set the location as Mexico City in advance to going to Mexico City so I could be prepared and have something to do when I got there. So that's when I met this beautiful girl who I thought was totally out of my league at the time and I was like so surprised that you actually replied. I, I felt the same about him. I was like, as this guy talking yeah. to me, like he's really handsome. <laughs> when it said, it's a match, I was thinking, holy crap, like, how is this happening to me? Like, I, I, I'm not worthy. <laughs> I'm not worthy. Yeah, so we got talking yeah. on good old Tinder, and we had a conversation. After I said, yes, I speak English. Yeah, because it would have been a little bit awkward if you didn't. And we just got talking for a while, didn't we? And we said, you know what, it's getting late here, but if you give me your number, your phone number, we can WhatsApp together. That's wait, the wait, next wait. stage. He said... Can I have your WhatsApp so we can talk better? And I was like, okay. <laughs> because I didn't want all of the other guys on Tinder messaging her like, Hi, I what are you doing right now? I wasn't even talking with anybody. <laughs> Same anyway. I just want to get sure. out of Tinder. I want to get out of Tinder so it could just be me and you in this intimate setting of WhatsApp. Okay. And then our first texts towards each other should be on the screen right now. But uh, they were essentially, if I look at my phone over here, you do your part, then I'll do my part. Okay. Hi. 
Hey, smiley face. Ah, I got it right. Apart from I use plus 55 instead of plus 52, which is referring to the phone number being international. It's okay, smiley face. <laughs> Good night, beautiful. Oh my God. Speak to you tomorrow, kiss kiss. By the way, I didn't know what <laughs> XX meant. Because in England, an X and an X at the end of a text or message is kind of like kiss kiss. So I was like, yeah. literally said, alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> Get some rest. Good night. Smiley face. Okay. And the following day, and that was it for the night, like we just kind of went to bed. And then the following day, it was, hey you, smiley face, how's your day going so far? And then you said, hi, good morning. Well, I'm still in bed. So far, so good. And you? Wow, I was so... That was so like direct. Direct. And not, not loving at all, which is fair of enough. We don't just met. Of course. Right? I was ah. not going to give it, like, a lot of things at first. Yeah. Ah, that sounds good. Ha ha. What, being in bed sounds good? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just yes, not even a smiley or emoji, just yes. <laughs> and then, here it comes. Room for one more. Winky oh face. God, straight in away. Sense. In there, straight away. That was a second day. Second day. Well, it wasn't even a full day. It was less than 24 hours, but... I just got back from running a few errands and now working and seeing some friends tonight. And then you said... Sure, but you have to bring breakfast because I'm hungry AF. Hungry AF. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> you didn't say no, you didn't say, go away you creep. <laughs> well, I was going to get a free breakfast, I mean, come um, on. Why wouldn't you? And then we started talking about what's our favourite food and what do we eat and everything else. So. That's kind of how we got talking, really. My isn't favorite it? part was the yes after. Just yes, <laughs> straight, just yes. And then, <laughs> very inviting. But at least you replied, at least you actually responded to people. Unlike a lot of people in England, to me anyway, my experiences with Tinder in England were not great. Um, I just had a bunch of people not respond to me. And it wasn't even because I was saying, like, hey. I actually tried to start a conversation, and it was always very. People just don't know how to have a conversation, I guess, nowadays. Um, but I don't know. I was, maybe I'm just I was ugly, nervous. You know? You're not. <laughs> Shit. I was nervous. I was like, how is he talking to me? Like, I don't, I don't know. Mm. Like, he's too handsome for me. I'm just a Mexican girl. <laughs> <laughs> so that happened. And then from there, we just kind of got talking forever and ever. And then we said, oh, let's meet up next time I come to Mexico. Because of course, I was going to Mexico in two weeks. And I had, let's say, a few other options because I had just come out of a long-term relationship. And I wanted to make sure that... You know, I want to punch him in the face. And right also, now. and also, I didn't know if you were a catfish or not. You could have been some hairy German man named Lars, who was the age of sixty-two, in his pajamas, playing Counter Strike oh in his basement of his mom's house. Oh my God. So it could have been that. Okay, fine. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> so I just wanted to make sure. And it was a comparison. What if you were a murderer? Things... Or a... what if you were a murderer? What if you were what going if you were to in the kidnap Mexican me mafia? and then? Sell my beautiful organs. I did consider it. But. <laughs> so, we basically met up on our date. We just kind of had a really good first date, didn't we? We went to... Where, where did we go? We Ripley's? went to Ripley's. Ripley's? Ripley's? Yeah, it's like this, this place, Ripley's. for those of you who don't know what Ripley's is, it's this place where it's like loads of weird and wonderful believe things. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. We're not being sponsored. You cannot sponsored. believe it or you can believe We're it. We're not being sponsored yeah. by it. But we obviously needed somewhere to stay together, hopefully. So, <laughs> before we went there, I booked an Airbnb, everything's nice, beautiful balcony where you could just sunbathe and whatever else, right? So he told me that it was going to be for five days mm -hmm. and I was like, Yes. So, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. But I was like, no, I'm going to see like if he's good for more, like one evening, just going out as a date. And mm. after that, I'm going to stay with my cousin. <laughs> stay probably, with the cousin. Because pr probably he's going to kidnap me or okay. something like that. Yeah, the Englishman, you know, the famous tale of the Englishman yeah. kidnapping the yeah. Mexican. But at the end of the day, we <laughs> stay together. So. <laughs> so yeah, we stayed together in this apartment and it was great. But before that, before we actually went to sleep and everything else, we went for some drinks. And this was really fun, okay? Because we went out for some drinks in Mexico, a place I'd never been to before, we had a great time. We ended up at this bar meeting these two random people. Yeah. Okay. And you got so drunk that you were pole dancing on the bar. 
I was talking to these people and then I turned around and there she was gyrating around this pole in front of everyone and I was like That's not- Damn girl! Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm not used to drink, so whenever mm. I do- You are I super get, lightweight, aren't you? Yes, so I get super drunk. So before going to that club, we went to another <laughs> two. Yeah, that's true. We went to two before, just yes, to give you some Yes, and I was okay. Mm -hmm. I was okay, I was drinking like- and then we went to this bar, which was playing a and lot then, of reggaeton. And then we we met these two people. They were like, oh, we know this awesome <laughs> place. Come place with us. Come. Yeah, and then we were like, sure. So we went and then they were. it was basically a gay bar. So that's why I was like, yeah, I can dance however exactly. I want. Because it I'm wasn't not... some sordid affair where you no. walk in and it's like, hey, do you want to no, dance? So no, <laughs> so nobody cared about me dancing. So... So that was like the dream because I could dance like however I wanted to. So <laughs> which there, you never did. Which I never did. So you were just improvising place, and you, you magically place. channeled the inner stripper within exactly. you. Exactly. So there was a pole and I was like, this is this is it. This is my time. My time has come. So yeah. It was, kind of like a weird Disney movie. Yeah. But the worst part is like this was on the very first date. I don't know what possessed me, but I suppose supposed to... Impress you yeah. with my good you manners. Did. You and did my... with your stripping. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's how, how you get the men. Just that's that's true. Follow Just... me on my other channel. How you get the men. <laughs> um, but but yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. Pulled in. And then we went to bed and we did the. But nasty. I didn't strip. She didn't strip. No. Next. No. She was beautiful. And to be fair, we danced as well together down off the pole on the yeah. on the floor. Yeah, yeah. And that was a really good evening. And yeah. we went back and we did the adulty naughty thing together the same night and okay. things. And then we were about to fall asleep and we thought it would be a great idea to order a pizza. <laughs> and this was this was at 3 a.m. We ordered a pizza on the what was it? No, the, it was before. 3 a.m. The Domino's app. Was it the Domino's app? We ordered? No, it was a Papa John's. Papa John's at like 1, one something a.m., one something right? Basically, super early in the morning. They were closed, but we didn't know that because we were far beyond drunk. So we were laying in bed and we just both fe fell asleep on top of each other, basically. Yeah. Just With all like, the lights on. <laughs> all the lights like, on, everything. We were just like in awkward positions in the bed. Like, like Edward Cullen in, <laughs> in Twilight. <laughs> in Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> with all our limbs like this and then we woke up at three or four something first he woke up like moving like like that and he like, woke oh! up and then he was like started like patting the bed like trying to find trying to his find my phone, phone. And he yeah. was like where's my phone <laughs> which had disappeared yeah and then i was like what and then when he found it he checked the time and he was like babe <laughs> the pizza is not here <laughs> And then I was like, wait, it's because it's 3 a.m. <laughs> but he, did, he said it really like concerned, like, it's because it's 3 a.m. <laughs> and I was like, And then oh. I was like, is it going to be delivered in the morning at like 8 a.m. when they open again? And are we going to have pizza for breakfast? Oh What's going to happen? And we just never received that pizza. So Papa John's, you still owe us a pizza. But, but, um. but I just wanted to sleep. So I remember just like looking at him like, the hill <laughs> and then saying like oh just get a refund and then turn around and go back to sleep and then we had an amazing four days after that yeah and then and then i went back home and then i was just distraught but before i went home i asked you if you wanted to be boyfriend and girlfriend i told him to ask me yeah because you were, we were almost in tears as well weren't you not like, the yet. thought of leaving each other Yes, mm -hmm. but but I like I was waiting for the Uber to come and pick me up, and then we were saying goodbye, and then he kissed me, and he was like, "Well, what does this makes us?" Yeah, what does this make us? Yeah. That, and I was like, <laughs> "I don't know. You tell me." <laughs> and then he was like, "Well, boyfriend and girlfriend." I was like, "You haven't asked like giving him the look, like you better ask me." And then yeah. he was like. Disney um, princess style. Yeah, he yeah. no. He was just like, <laughs> uh, what did you say? Would you be my girlfriend? Would you be my girlfriend? Yeah. Kind of like a Justin Timberlake song. Is that <laughs> I think so, yeah. Was girlfriend. It? Yeah, that one. Um, anyway. And then I said yes. And then, mm -hmm. and then I went to the Uber. And then I started crying. And then we were both in tears, basically. 
and you know I was waving and thinking no come back and I, I almost I was ran after him. no no I almost ran after the Uber thinking like I just want another kiss I was that sweet and Bye. like yeah I was like hmm. oh, baby. I was really in tears and I just sat I, I got back to the room in the Airbnb and I just sat there like what do we do now I was in the Uber and like then I was just really depressed all that rest of that day because I had a flight on the evening so I was fortunately not waiting around for that long and. On the airplane back, I was texting you and saying, I miss you so much. And then you oh, were yeah. like, I miss you so much as well. And we just talked for like a good month or so after that. And then I said to her, okay, so this may sound a little bit direct, but we, we've been talking for a long time. We met each other in real life. We, we felt that we... We connected, like the universe had yeah. brought us together. Considering I'm from the UK, Michelle is from Mexico. And it's like, what are the chances of meeting somebody halfway across the world and just clicking straight away yeah, with each it was, other. it was really... I have no words to describe it. It's yeah. just like... It feels like... I know it's cliche, but it feels like we met forever. Mm. Like we were waiting to meet for our whole life. And every decision we'd ever made in our entire life had led us to that moment. Exactly. So, yeah, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I basically said to her, if I moved to Mexico City, would you live with me? <laughs> yeah. And you were like, I don't know. I was and like, your parents were like, I don't know. No, 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 no. I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but at I first you were was... a bit kind of like, are you, are you serious? Yeah. And you couldn't believe that I was actually asking her. No, but I, I, yeah. at the end of the day, I said like, yeah. Because I didn't think that he was being serious. <laughs> and so true. I was like, yeah. And then <laughs> he started sending me like links of... Uh, oh, to apartments, apartments and, and places like, to live. Holy like he's serious. serious yeah and then by this time my parents didn't didn't know anything <laughs> so i was making oh wait wait, wait. so i was 24, 24 yeah. and i was thinking like okay what's the worst thing it could happen my <laughs> parents can't say you cannot go because i'm an adult and mm. before that i was living by myself and stuff like that so it was not like my parents would say like no you can't go and also you'd already met me and spent time with me for five days so it's, it's, it's Completely understandable. Completely fine. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> not like Disney princess just one day. It, it, five five days, days, it's okay. <laughs> but no, it's it's kind of, it sounds like it was super quick and it was super quick, but I don't think it would have worked any other way because mm. living in the UK, going back and forth to Mexico, it would have got really old real fast with all the travel and like, it just wouldn't have been able to work out that Especially well. The, and there are long distance relationships, but like... The hours, mm. like I stayed up at four. That's true. Playing. <laughs> yeah, till four, but it was a six hour time difference from the UK to Mexico. So I was talking to Michelle at like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., most mornings in the evening. Yeah. Um, and then you were only just going to bed at that point, like settling down for bed. And even then, you'd stay up till super late anyway. So we actually had like three hours, like real three hours to to talk. Yeah, after I finished work, after you finished what you were doing. And yeah, stuff. so it was like, it was not going to last. <laughs> But we still felt like every day was like, I really missed him. Like mm. on my side, it was like, I really miss him so yeah. much. And we just ended up moving to Mexico together, moving in. Because you were from Pachuca. I'm not from Pachuca. Well, living in Pachuca with your parents and then moved to Mexico City together exactly. in this place. We haven't lived anywhere else apart from this place. Yeah. So this was our inception. And I told my parents like one week after we already... <laughs> <laughs> what did they think you were? What did they think you were when you were not at home? Like, we didn't talk much. No, so no. they just didn't even know. No, and and then uh, I told them like one week after we signed, not signed the contract, <laughs> but like found a place, mm. uh, put the deposit and everything. And we moved to this place without ever everything. seeing it. We we never saw it. We were just kind of trusting that the photos were real. So this was all a big risk. Moving in with somebody new halfway across the world that we'd only met for five days. A place which we'd never even seen before. Moving to a city where I don't speak the language in an area which I have zero clue about the culture and we'd only spent four days there. Yeah. So it was a massive risk. But, but also... It totally um, worked out. It was, it was kind of like funny now that I think about it. Because all the links you sent me for different apartments, we mm. were just kind of like, oh yeah, that's mm, fair. Okay. But then when he sent me this one, mm. we both said like, wow, that's it. We didn't it even see like less anybody than a week. here, like yeah. not even once. It's just like less than a week. All online. Like, yeah. And then that was that. So that was our 
story of meeting each other. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And then I had to tell my parents. <laughs> I had to tell my parents. My mom freaked out. And she was like, what? She thought that I was being like... <laughs> Abducted. <laughs> crazy. And she feared that I was going to get like kidnapped or mm. abducted or whatever. And then my dad... And my parents were just as confused. <laughs> they were like, James, you're an English boy. You don't move to Mexico. It's dangerous <laughs> over there. Are you going to join the cartel or the mafia? And then um, my <laughs> dad was really angry because he was not yeah. even in the city. He was... Mm. But the culture is very different though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. In Mexico, the family's very close. Yeah, so in Mexico, like, we, don't, we don't just move with our boyfriends. Yeah. Like... Out of nowhere like you get married first you yeah. have a child first <laughs> no. and then the whole family lives with you <laughs> and um, then you can see the boyfriend one time yeah yeah but then my, you met my dad and then yeah and they were really nice people and we just we fell in love as a family yes it's great so and that's it yeah. and so that's how we met do you have anything else to add um tr don't trust in there but also trust in there I don't know. We... Very good advice. <laughs> we, we are... Just be careful on Tinder. Just be careful. Not yeah. everyone is who they seem to be at first, but you do find the odd person. And even if the person that you're speaking with to begin with isn't a good fit for you, it can change your life in a way that leads you to the correct person. Yeah. Like it happened here. Yeah, and also the so... same advice, like just meet the people in a public place, uh, let people know where you're going to be. Uh, stuff like that. Or have a video chat with, with uh, you know, just to make sure that they're actually... Exactly. Here so yeah, um, me, I was having like some precautions when it comes to meet him. Um, so, so do that. But also, yeah, I mean, true love exists. It does. <laughs> Even it does. on Tinder. <laughs> and now we've been together, as of recording this video, over two years. And we are engaged. We're engaged. So we're going to get married July 31st, later this year, in America. So, it's going to be fun. So, good job at downloading Tinder, baby. Yeah, you too. Yay! <laughs> so, if you like this video, if you like this story, if you thought it was inspirational, if you thought it was funny, go ahead, hit the thumbs up button below this video. Smash that thumbs up button just to let us know that we are doing a good job. And also, it helps us to start off as a small channel and just to grow and hopefully tell you more of these stories. Exactly. Um, if you're not already subscribed, which you probably aren't, go ahead and hit the subscribe button in the corner of the the screen and also there'll be a button at the end of this video for you as well to tickle your fancy. Um, <laughs> there should also be a video as well which we're going to film over there in just a few minutes. So if you want to see more from us we're going to be insulting each other in the next video. So go ahead and click that video after this one. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and say goodbye. Bye! <laughs> Bye! See you in the next video. Adios! Bye!